This is where Lagos meets London. Where Peckham boys chill in Osaka, London, as Muritala Mohamed, Kitro is only a stone throw. This is where London Bridge links Todd Milan Bridge via Go Slow. This is where Lagos meets. Hi guys, welcome back to our podcast, Lagos Meets London. And on the microphone, this is Tony. And it's your boy OJ, if you still don't know, get to know. And it's your boy Ade. And then you have Miss Alice. Do you want the good, the bad, the juicy, juicy? This is the podcast for you. <laughs> Welcome back. Lagos meets London. Wow. <laughs> so, um, election happened in Lagos yesterday. Mm-hmm. Have you guys been, keep, been up to date? Bro. Not even in Lagos, in the whole of Nigeria. Sorry, guys. Have yeah. you guys been keeping up to date? May, how can you not keep up to date? It's Trust everywhere. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everything is like on on like upside down in most places, and that's how election is always like in Nigeria most times. Have you actually um, experienced election in Nigeria before? Yeah, but it's it's in, like I just switched on CNN yesterday, and it was all about Nigeria talking about all the candidates. Oh, we scared, but I'm like, is it that bad? I think the outsider looking in, it's yeah. It's, Bad. <laughs> it's the way the things are what's structured. Is, yeah. What's especially close with the poverty capital of the world right now? I heard, I think they said it's um, 133 million Nigerians are living in po- poverty. Yeah. Can That's you the imagine? Statistic. Yeah, it's really bad. So, yeah. And with politics in Nigeria or with elections in Nigeria, mm. every election always seems like do or die. Like, because it's for 20 years gradually, mm. it's from one bad government government too. I know that honestly like yeah. the last government that's done we will say do well is probably OBJ's government and I think that'll probably be like we had we had three years of Yaradwa then we had eight years of good we had luck. three years of Yaradwa we had four years of good luck. Yeah. So that's three plus four that's, that's seven. seven. And Yaradwa came before Basanjo that's seven and then we had we had eight of Okay, Buhari. <laughs> Bubu. <laughs> Bubu. We had eight of Bubu. Bo. So that's eight, that's eight years of Buhari, three years of Yaradwa, and four years of Jonathan. So eight, eleven, that's 15 years. And for the last 15 years, it's just been like... The country had no direction. Yeah. yeah. So, like, talking about Buhari, like, I saw... Um, the channels, yeah. yeah. I saw the interview with him yesterday. Oh, God. And they asked him... Um, what do you think about um, the candidate that's going to win? And do you know what he said? It's none of my business. He said, it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... My mom said, deal with it. It's yeah. like, it's not my business. Anybody, uh, it's just that like everything is on record. Nobody should call me to the court. <laughs> if you call me, you're asking for trouble. I'm like... Is that what he said? Yeah. yeah really? really? And I'm like... That's, Are you that's for real? For real? That's not even empathetic for Nigeria at, at all. all. Like, given that you are like the president at, at the point, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, not even rooting for his candidate from his party. You know, like, yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> what does that mean, though? If he's not rooting for the candidate from his party, does I mean, that mean it's like, yeah, like we should know we're in trouble? Don't hold if, your breath. If, he, if he's, <laughs> why are you supporting us? For me, I'll just say I understand that there's a little glimmer of hope if will be enters but yeah you can, you can look at Bryce's perspective is like this is nigeria is like the government everything come like we said in 20 years it's been a shit show yeah it's just like for him the way i think is what he's trying to say is good very good luck to the next person because <laughs> you guys i you tried guys, my best you guys are you guys are you guys honestly you guys are always uh, saying i'm bad i'm bad what the next person <laughs> seriously <laughs> All the best. I think that's for me. I'll say up uh, because uh, it's not fair if you're you're here in London and you're saying you're having opinions on mm. the candidates and who's best for to govern Nigeria. But well, according to but the you details, do have family members back there. So who would you want to be the president of the country they live in? Like honestly, if you say who would I want to be the president, I don't really. As long as it's not Tinumbu. Um, the reason why, okay. why? Why? Let me, why? Let, me, let me say why. The reason okay. why I don't want it to be Tinubu because I I feel the workload of being the president of the country that is as bad as Nigeria. There's a lot of things that need to be done. Shouldn't be charged with a seven. I think Tinubu is seven. That man is fragile. Regardless, I don't I don't the think workload, 
I don't think age should be a problem. So OJ, are you saying but like is, that? No, sorry. Age is a problem because age determines your intelligence, your I honestly I don't want to diagnose um Tenable. Tenable, but this man could have dementia. And that comes with age as well. This the, man could have dementia. So no, but we've we've heard him speak. And you know, yeah, what? and he speaks you a know, lot of jargon. You what know are you what? talking about? <laughs> bulu, bulu. <laughs> bala, bala. I'm so sorry. You what? can't even say you've you've heard Tinobu speak. That's the reason why I understand that he's been governor before and he's, he's, he's done, done a good done job. Done well for Lagos. He was he younger back then. Job. He was younger, and he might not be able to express himself he might not be charismatic when he's speaking about his plans or, mm. or what he wants to do but his age i don't think he might he might know what to do to get nigeria back yeah to, like yeah to just like to get us developed to be to be fair i don't think anything can change like big drastically in yeah. eight years it has to yeah. be continuous like mm. eight yeah. years of a good government mm -hmm. and then under eight years to set us on the right path mm -hmm. yeah we are 77 we have a debt of 77 trillion oh my god dollars. yeah so oj oj um just a quick one then so you're saying like literally we know like things can change overnight because yeah, definitely no matter who no. gets there but it's are you mm. are you telling me now that like experience is not going to come into play tell me about it the world i'll just i'll like coming back to the question of who would i want to win honestly i would want it i'll be to win because sometimes but wait before being, we say who we want to win we need to actually talk and introduce uh, the candidates candidates oh, okay. yeah who the candidates are and... i can introduce my own candidate <laughs> <laughs> It's not my candidate, but I just feel like, like that'll be is is what is people like us, people in our age group back in Nigeria are actually experiencing the rot. Yeah, they're experiencing the body. There's like, a lot of movement cool. going on from this the youth. Cool. Sometimes mm. they said, sometimes simplicity. If you're trying to overcomplicate things, then that means you're not even intelligent. But simplicity, myself, I've gone for the people that this guy who said this is the right choice. Mm. I've listened to him speak, although he speaks a lot of numbers that I think is not. It's not <laughs> yeah, it's not, honestly, like, it's not possible. So like, like, like this guy, no. these numbers. It's not feasible. It's just, it's but just at numbers. least he still has feasible. numbers. What does your own candidate Please, have? Can, you, can, you, can, you, can you introduce your, can, your candidate? Peter will be ex. Is, how would Peter will be again? I'm not 100% sure. But in his 60s? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's in his 60s. In his he's 60s. young, he's vibrant. What's, what do you mean young by 60s? He's and way you're telling younger. me to know he's old compared, by 70. Compared to no, number one. Don't nobody should come on number now. one. That's not, I'm sure. Chelsea, that's Chelsea come on now. now. Chelsea, come on if now. You're telling me <laughs> that's Tinubu's real age. I'm not. That's I don't believe that's real age. age. I believe he's uh, yeah. even older than that. Do you know how many that. people have like um questioned his real age? Yeah, like, I don't think that's his real age. We don't. Have, we don't have a copy of his real birth certificate. Where do you want to get that from? But, like it has to be. <laughs> if you're a president, it has to be in public record. In yeah. Nigeria, it has, to, it has to be. Everyone needs to be able to access and know <laughs> who the incoming president <laughs> is. Who's your candidate? Let me be right. sure. Let me be sure. It's not 1992. It's, I think uh -uh. they got married. In nineteen, uh, hey, nah. I've seen mother. what she looks like, and nah, she's not <laughs> you know, thirty I'm years old. Come on now. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, so my <laughs> so, yeah, own candidate, Peter, will be my sorry, Tony. Peter will be my candidate. Is ex governor of one of the states. you don't even know your Adamawa. Oh my God, bro! Oh hell no, man. <laughs> Adam Mawa. Adam bro. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, OJ. Sorry, for Sorry, guys, my boy. Yeah, it's, it was ex-government. Ex-governor. Hmm. God, what's going on? Ex-governor. Ex <laughs> Ex-governor. Ex <laughs> you not join English class? I don't have crown in my pocket. Ex-governor. I think you are going in a state of bala blue. Bala blue. Bala blue. Let me bring it back now. OJ, come on, like. Oh, yeah, now. Come on, OJ. Come on, like, come on, like. Come on, woman. That's really good. Peter will be 61 years old. Yeah. Ex-governor of Anambra State. Yeah. His strongest fought or is the strongest fought or the strongest campaign agenda that has been pushing is going to take Nigeria out of corruption. Um, I'm not out of poverty. Okay. Out of poverty. Because well, I know corruption can be part of it. Yeah, but because the last government said cor corruption, that was yeah, what I mean, the, oh. that was the mandate then, and we've been corrupted for the past eight years. <laughs> so I don't they know. Double the corruption yeah. times two. <laughs> so it's, it was governor a number of states. His agenda is pushing. Taking Nigerians out of poverty, getting us into prosperity. Yeah. How? How? Um, yeah. 
would would put the uh, <laughs> in some of he no no oh, he I hope you know, know I hope you know how he said he was gonna do this. So now he's he, yeah he said he mentioned I would mention one way he said is we're going to have a his plan is like that of the countries in Asia where we have a lot of land space yeah okay, and we're going to we need to start doing exporting. Okay. We need to start doing exporting. But I like I said, it's gonna take time because that's a very competitive market. Yeah. The Asians mm. have that market on lock. Yeah. They export a lot of things. So yeah. it will take us time. Also, he did mention something about oil because um is it oil? What mm. what's Nigeria known for? Niger- I don't think yeah, Nigeria is no, 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 we still have crude oil. We're still one of the game the revenue, players for it's still, it's crude still oil and gas. gas. Yeah. yeah. Oh, a lot of the that. revenue from crude oil from last government. There was a lot of corruption with that. So yeah. he said that he's going to clean that up and there's going to be a lot of visibility in the transactions and the money and everything we're paying out, exporting. The income should be visible, not yeah. a lot of corruption. I mean, that's one good thing about Pitel because <clears throat> when he was in, like, when he became governor of an Amber State. I was going to say that. But yeah, you say it, say yeah, it. when he became governor of an Amber State, he actually took an Amber out of debt and yeah. then he yeah. remitted a lot of yeah. money yeah. at the end of exactly. his tenure and he remitted everything. Remitted like a lot of money. But. But let us remember how Peter Obi said he was going to, you know, carry out this task. He said he was going to keep on borrowing. Yeah. Borrow. More debt. debt debt. Yeah, but this is borrowing to make income, to replace it. The past governments, they were just borrowing, borrowing, no revenue generation. Let me now tell you how my, you know, my Bola and Medicine of Bola. Okay, you're making it clear clear that's your candidate. (laughs) No, please. I'm just (laughs) introducing Bola because I don't want any gun to be fired at me. (laughs) It's fine. Is it Nigeria? Is it democratic? That's what they make us believe. When they were beating them in Shongo Tedo yesterday. Where are you going to buy lots of Why are you going to One more way. Who does that? One more way. How is that normal? They beat. And so, you know, so, they don't, their salary is not plenty again. They have been, 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 we're not coming here to be like politics experts. We're not 100% crude on Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just politics. sharing our opinion. As much, like, we're trying just to try as much as we can to yeah. give our own two cents. And yeah. like she said, we wouldn't just be like, it's not good to just be like, oh, I don't give, I don't care. We can't. Oh God, we, have, no. we have families, yeah. we have friends. I, yeah. Like, anytime I speak, I try, anytime I speak to my friends, it's always like, it's just very bad, 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 bad. It's not, they're not doing good. They're not living good. So we care about the tone, um, the, What's it called? We care about the results of the election. Yeah, because it's, gonna yeah. it's the definitely going to affect, outcome, like, exactly. the outcome would definitely reflect on us. Maybe well. our passport will now be able to travel to some countries. Yeah, wishful thinking. Ah, chill. Can I chill. please introduce my candidate? Mm. Because I don't know why you guys are really trying to, like, can, can, you know, can. overshadow my candidate. No, it's fine. It's oh. calm. It's calm. Sorry. Right. So, Bola Amedetinobu is actually an AKA. No, but you said that way too, like, sexually. Bola Amedetinobu, AKA Jagoba. Of Lagos, aka City Boy, aka City Boy, the real City Boy, <laughs> aka Drugs. He's actually, um, oh, so he's actually on the day, you know, all people's party, like APC. Oh, what? All, all progressive A-P-D-P. congress. A-P-D-P. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just say ballet. Brum, 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 brum. You know, I know that Tinubu does not really like to grant interviews and everything like that. And most times, why is like, that? Because it feels like you guys already have like another, you know, and I like you guys already have like a picture of him. And he's yeah, not, so he's he not ready come, to convince he anyone. He should come and change our minds. But no, he comes and he's talking rubbish. Talking no, Tinubu actually, nah. you know, he actually granted one interview that I that I watched and then yeah, I, I listened to him and I listened to what he said he was going to do. Let me tell you what he said he was going to do that was actually like, you know, it was, it was, it was actually like, Bringing out points. Mm. It's not just saying, "Oh, how are you going?" I'm going to collect money. I'm going no, to. No, it was given. It was giving out points. So I'll tell you one that was actually very fascinating to me. Mm. You know, he said that he's going to do something called a tax incentive, such that you know companies. He's going to liaise with private companies, mm. and then he's going to like you know, if any private company like employs as as many as let me say twenty thousand Nigerians. It isn't. It's going to like give them a tax incentive. That way, it's going oh, to. Yeah, that's, it's going very to good. that's very. That's a very good point. Very and good. we need someone that is actually very experienced. That once he gets into office, he's going to eat the ground running. We don't need someone that is, um, you know, governor of Anambra. Anambra is a small state. You know, you yeah. can you can easily yeah. like 
eat an amber state and get everything running. This is a presidential. This is a whole seat. country. Yeah, a you need yeah, someone that is actually like experienced. You know, you know yeah, what? but we're saying experience. He only was the governor of one state. Let's remember What's that. that? Tenubu. Tenubu. Yeah, yes. but where's where the experience the coming from? of Lagos. He knows the nooks and crannies of Lagos. He knows what to do as just he gets Lagos. Just Lagos or no, Nigeria. But, but I understand where she's coming from. She's been in her saying he's got experience. Tinumbu is very he might not, he might just have been he's a godfather. Of Lagos, but mm. he's very when it comes to Nigerian politics, he knows how everything works. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't dispute that at so, all. So, I don't. And he's somebody I think people would want to work for him. Yeah. On the other, on the other hand, it is... Would he do the job? Are, no, it's not even about... I know in my, in, there's a corner of my mind saying, Tinumbu, if he gets him, apart from his reputation, he would actually do the job. He would do but, something. But, but, but longevity... Evie, whatever he does, mm -hmm. I feel like he would do it in a way like then it might not carry on. Maybe it does four years and maybe health issues and mm. then the next four years we so might actually be stagnant. He's yeah. scared like or something like Kiara Dua. Go, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or maybe we'll, we'll go back again. Yeah. But they said, my friend was saying to me, his son is probably going to be his chief of staff and his son is very young. Mm. Right so yeah. um, OJ, just to act, just to ask on what like you what you guys have said basically so like you brought a valid point on experience mm. so like if we're looking at some of these candidates uh let's say atiku abubakar <laughs> during the time of um obasanjo mm, he yeah. was the vice president twice mm. for eight years yeah so are you telling me that someone like that doesn't have experience well, option but he had the experience. <laughs> what did he use with no. in this time? But what did he do? You know, they listen to what a vice president can actually. No, no, do. it's not even that. During their time, him the reason why he's not people's people are not is only yeah. in the north. During their time, Mama Obasanjo, they said that was the most corrupt government Nigeria ever had, and he was he was one of the people that spared it, corruption in that government. So it's very article is according to. The news, wiki. And the, not so, wiki, like the, like the voice of the streets, according yeah. to the streets. But um, my man is, OJ, I not, was privileged to, to, to actually read Obasanjo's book. No, oh, yeah, not yeah so Sorry. he said it in his book, like, um, Obasanjo didn't read Atiku at all. In his, in his book. book, yeah, you know, Obasanjo published the book, yeah, yeah, I yeah, remember. and like. To be honest, if you read the part where he talked about Atiku in his book, you wouldn't even trust him with your your petty cash. It's true, like when he comes. So why did they said why, it. why did he keep him on for another time? And another thing, no. Oh, you, you can't change. Why, you, no, can't, you, can't, you can't change. The Nigerian, you can't change. Nigerian politics oh, okay. is this is okay. You are giving we, the presidential ticket. Advice, okay, now your, this is your vice. Yeah, well, you can't do anything. To yeah, there's yeah. always a balance. Like there's I think we have from the the Yoruba and the the. Um, the That's Northerners we... or like the mm -hmm. um, Easterners and the Southerners, like they try to have a balance. But like, I know everyone is saying. But why does that matter? Do you know? And like... then people are even talking about tribalism going on with this election. Yeah. There's, always There's always tribalism at play, whether we like you or not. Yeah. Why do you think um, Buhari had Oshibanjo? Mm. As a vice president, that one that didn't do anything. Okay, oh, well, just in his mouth. well <laughs> everyone, you see, like in, it's just that's like Obasanjo as well having a tickle. So you get all like no, you I see, get the see, balance they're trying to have. They try to, but it's like no, it's whoever I think is competent for this role that exactly. I will put in the position, and that's the way it works in every other country apart from Nigeria. Yeah, that's, why? I know. It's the way when the British colonized us. Just going back again, that's what they used to. Like to put those in conquer. power. That's yeah. why you divide and conquer. Mm. Say, okay, we would, we would um, empower these people and then leave leave these people out so that but when, the, when the time comes, if we need someone to fight for us, these people that we've empowered, they, they're going to help us fight against these ones that have not accepted us. Because yeah. they, when the British came, they not didn't accept them. They didn't want Christianity. They didn't want mm. all these things that, that is now like, coming up to now, like gay marriage. One of the reasons I feel like being homosexual is not accepted in Nigeria is because when you take it to the House of Parliament and House of People is going to be like straight no. They're mm. not they're hundred percent not going to accept it. It will never happen in any in any northern region. It's not like maybe it's, I don't know, maybe in another hundred or two hundred years. It's just like Saudi Arabia. It's just not going to happen. Okay. So that's um, what they use. Divide they had the Northerners, they didn't want them. They said, okay, we'll empower these guys here. Yeah? So when we need to 
when we need to fight the Northerners, these guys. So there's always been that divide and rule. Yeah. yeah, but like I know quite all right. We're all talking about the candidates and everything, but what about the role of the cabal? Like, is anyone talking about the the role in this um in this election? The roles of the kingmakers. I feel like before we go, it's very unfair. Let's. Who, who is Atiku? What <laughs> what party? <laughs> I think you are supporting Atiku. Am I correct? No. You're not? It's your no. favorite. It's your no. favorite. No. Be honest. So who's your favorite? No. Wait, wait, wait. It's true. It's true. No. I know she, she's not. As long as anybody yeah, that's not yeah, supporting she is that's Obi. fine. You're, yeah, she's obedient. Oh, yeah. I'm for Peter Obi. Yeah. We need I'm, a change. We need somebody that's honest, that's, you know, um, I don't know inclusive. About no. Um, <laughs> no, but Peter Obi, this is one thing. There was a statement he made. He said, of all the years that I was um, the governor, if anyone can come out and say that I was corrupt, I will stop running. Yeah, he said that. And, no one and came nobody out. came out. And so that means yeah. there's nobody that can say no. this man is wrong. It's competent, or is actually. Wrong. What if, like she said earlier, Anambra is a very close-knit state. Everybody in government. Are you sure it's not Adamawa? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's Anambra. Anambra. <laughs> close-knit states. Everybody in there is, they are evil. Mm. They can, this is, and the evil people, I know them to have this kind of, they are not like us, the Yorubas, that will go behind the back. Yeah. If they are, if they're like their brothers, their brotherhood is very, very key to them. So, there's nobody like their their government is very close knit. It's very hard you find an outside. Yeah, but he's that. worked with other people. Yeah, yeah. he would have worked, worked with, with other, other ministers from well. other states. Yes, yeah. he has. What what are you talking about? Yeah, like, even no, even it's the credibility citizens of is. even the citizens of like the states, like the indigents of the states, they won't pos- they won't possibly know the corruption rate. Yeah, exactly. won't, yeah. yeah, so like I'm telling you, like so those evil people are not even the ones that will support him. It's exactly. the people that are working with him, within like the, the executives. They will come up within the system that are evils like him, like people that. Close no, but you even know, even in the like system, we have different people there. Yeah, it's not everyone when that's evil. Was as yeah. yeah, we had different no, no, no. people it's there. Not it's not be just evil. everyone that's that one track, that. but he had different people around him, yeah. and that's why I'm obedient as well. Yeah, man. But yeah, it's I'm not very even just obedient. That, but like a lot of the other parties are clearly not a fan of Obi because he's against everything. Therefore, yeah. Right. So how come that? I'm sure it would have worked with somebody in their party from previous. That years. would definitely. How come none of them have been able to say he's yeah, done this? He was corrupt know. in this, as just to like you know bring down his campaign. Yeah. There's, there's, none of that's happened. When it comes to like being corrupt, there's there's ways to like if you're smart. Yeah. And Please list my honestly, snares. Oh. There's good. There, there are sometimes, okay, you're corrupt in a mm. way, like for the greater good in future. If that makes sense. Have you seen this? No, of, corruption and good should not be in the same sentence. House, I'm house, so have you watched sorry. House of Cards? I oh, have not. Yeah. Have you seen House of Cards? I do not yeah. believe you, <laughs> corruption and good should be in the same sentence. Yeah, it shouldn't be the same No, yeah, if you want to things. achieve good, there's a good way to do that. Yeah. Not in not in the not in Nigeria. There's diplomacy. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's diplomacy. No, there's no, no. Um, yeah, OJ, no, don't don't say not in Nigerian politics. Like every politics everywhere. of everywhere, everywhere. is there. Yes, that's right. That's everywhere. right. Everywhere. Like, like looking at the there's UK. A- let us talk about the 100%. UK Parliament. We watch it on the TV, <laughs> BBC. They come and say, shit "Oh, show. shut up!" Shit the, this, this, this. Oh, they yeah, bring out different papers. Yeah, I never knew. I never knew. Was like, I said, "What kind of joke I is this?" It <laughs> is a joke. It's a joke everywhere. Said, no, you see, these ones they actually come in a very posh manner. Yeah, very subtle. But when <laughs> and yeah, then, but they're talking, but not throwing chairs. They're not throwing. No, they're throwing proper insults. Yeah, and I love when the labor attacks. Oh my days! You said they're throwing chairs. And in yeah, in Nigeria, assembly, they throw, the they throw assembly, chairs at each other. There are moments where they would, when they deliberate, they would have like, it would be really bad. But this, the parliament every day, if you're watching it, it's mm. always like back and forth. Yeah. Just, yeah, but it's a conversation. It's a conversation. We're using our words, you know? Yeah. Right. I literally felt felt bad for Boris the last time. Oh, man. Oh, man. I like, love the, my, the, the label, really like the Boris, label leader was like, don't so you're that. stupid. And Boris was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, your choices, man. Okay, wait, <laughs> I'm toxic. Talk I think I like toxic yeah, guys. Yeah, very toxic. Talk is, that, is that just the reason why you, you want Tenable to win? Because of that? Because of war. You said uh, you talked about the when you know experience and everything yeah because i just really liked his manifesto i really liked i felt like i could envision the things he was saying he was gonna do you know so i did felt you like listen to Obi's 
manifesto? I did, but I wasn't so interested, you know. You yeah, just, but I think that up. there's a bit of sentiment there because you already made up your mind. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never tribalistic. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But I think like, basically, if you just have like um, a mindset about something, there's no way the person will be right to you. Mm. No There's no way. How no matter good. how much they try mm. to impress but you. I, I, so. just, I just feel like let the best man actually win. You That's know? it. But like I'm just saying, just physically looking at them, Tinubu is like not the best he, man. Like he can't even say, stand up. Are you scared he's going to win? Mm. I know he will win. That's the fear. Because yeah. of the corruption, I know he will win. Well, Bas Sanjay, this, this the news you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, there, there um, I got this um, news. Um, I news? hope it's actually verified and all of that. So I said, um, breaking news, Bas Sanjay storms INEC collection center in Abuja. But before this, apparently I heard Bas Sanjay's um, security forces stopped um, containers, uh, tr- tr- trucks of influx of people coming from Chad and they whole had Nigerian PVC to oh vote. Oh my gosh. So like Obasanjo special forces or, or security forces had to stop them. And they took all the PVCs from them and sent them back. To chat. So apparently that was... Obasanjo is heavy on this though. election. The impact of that is bringing them in. They all have PVCs. They're, they're coming to vote for a particular candidate. Yeah. Okay. So like they're all going to be doing like voting for that person. And then and when they, yeah. the person will win. Yeah. So I know you know we have so like, like the, the the major case mm. when it comes to the north we have Castina Kaduna mm. like once those ones bring out their <laughs> so those like, guys are many no those ones those are, are many. much so like so after that we, then this came in like breaking news of passenger storms are in a collection center in Abuja with the real result of all the thirty six states <laughs> FCT. Wow. First of all, I should like be doing this? It should be Bwari. It should be Bwari. No, Bwari. No, Hold on. Because... Wait, wait. Let me finish. God. Let me finish. He said, like, I like chairman was in shock. Mm-hmm. He was literally shook. <laughs> Everyone is actually <laughs> when, disappointed when in INEC. just INEC headquarters. Yes, mm-hmm. INEC okay. headquarters in Abuja. So, um, and uh, you know, Abuja is the, like, the yeah, capital of Nigeria. So, like... The chairman was in shock when Obasanjo showed up in Abuja in a collection with 2023 original result sheets for all states. Hmm. I'm like, how did this man get it? <laughs> Bro, that's that's some wild things, you know. It, if uh, that's very that's I don't I don't mm. believe that because number one, to collect the results from every from every polling center, every in uh, every state. You, 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 but, have, you need to have you need to have a very, OJ, very big organization. OJ, don't forget. You need to have like, a very big organization wait, that Obasanjo has. O- Obasanjo he was a military head of state. He has it. He was wait, the wait. president yeah. for eight years. So are you telling me this Obasanjo man doesn't have influence? Has, he, does he has have loyal, loyal people. Loyal people this man has... Are you saying he has? Yes, has I wouldn't even doubt it. He can't do it because he's actually the godfather of, you know, um, ah, your guy. He's your guy. He's, he's your he's, godfather he's, of your guy. He's <laughs> godfather of... So like... Yes, now, he loves Obina. Oh, okay. you know, he's for oh, okay, yeah, so he yeah, wants to make sure he's free and fair. Yeah, he actually said in one of his stuff that like he's standing by Obi all through this election. And now the question on everyone's mind is where... How did Obasanjo get the result? How did he get into INEC Sava? Like, and this remains unknown. But guess what? They said, like, I know the collation is still going on, but mm. they said the INEC chairman is saying um, they'll probably suspend the, um, the collation of the presidential yes, no, election. Because they've been a cut. Cut them in that. So, like, if that can happen, guys, like, what's going on? It's just it's stressful. <sighs> if they have if they say okay, it's null and void, and then people have to come out and vote again, it's just a lot of stress. That's yeah. No, that that should not happen. <laughs> and like, this is why people are actually like leaving the country. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It's, Alice, did you see the video where like they had like tanks on the road? Yeah. Like proper war tanks mm. in Nigeria, and I'm like, why? It's just election. There's no war <laughs> going on. Like. Just but, but preparing I, for anything, the eventuality of anything. And that's why people are leaving, because insecurity, like, yeah. a better life. Where, like, we have elections in the UK and, like, I just, sorry literally. Push, I just feel like it's not fair. We didn't do Atiku any justice. <laughs> Atiku Abubakar, he was ex-pres- ex-vice president of Nigeria and he's running for the, under the People's Democratic PDP? Party. P- People's Democratic Party. Party PDP. Yeah. He, um, according to popularity poll, he's the third... Popularity poll. Um, Obi is first. 
Yeah. No, Tinumbu is first. Oh, Tinumbu is first, popularity. Yeah. Will be second, and Atiku is the third. Third, yeah. And one Sorry, what's his popularity poll? Who's. Like people that. They're that are well known. Yeah. Expected to win, like people's choice. The people's choice is bad. I'm sorry, Peter will be. Yeah, that's people on social that's media. That's the people's people that choice. Have access to social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's people that in the streets, there's people that like they want Why? to go to win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like my uncles on WhatsApp, that they don't care about Instagram. They don't. There's a bridge between mm. our generation and their generation. Yeah, their own generation they, is WhatsApp. Generation, they yeah. Want, yeah, what they want to be able to win. Yeah. And one of the funniest things about Atiku is Atiku has been running for this presidential election. <laughs> it's time for him to give yeah, up. No. There should be a limit like, to say, guy, he's trying three times. times. It's enough. Oh, go and join another not, person. Does that not show you that this guy wants yeah. to enter and steal yeah, all the money? Yeah, he wants to be uh, in that position. Like, yeah, but like, on it all, you know, we still made a very valid point saying like, that's why people are moving out. Like, we have so many factors that are going on right now. Mm. And like, they're saying uh, the amount of people that are moving out. Tony, would you blame them? I wouldn't blame them because I actually I actually think like this year, last year, the influx of people that have come to the UK. Alone. Or you, even these people don't even want to study, you know. <laughs> they just come in because they want to secure a better future for themselves. And it has actually really skyrocketed. So... I feel like it's because of the government and, you know, the situation of the country. And I wouldn't blame them. I wouldn't blame them at all. Eventually, they're going to be left with no one in the country. So even, like, <laughs> hold it up. So are we saying the older ones are moving as well or just the youth? I'll say the older ones that have the avenue, like, if you have the resources. Yeah. To move, and what we actually need in Nigeria is the resources. And everyone yes. that has the resources, they're all leaving. So yeah. eventually, exactly. they're going to be the left with the farmers. If you're able, if you have the resources, I think everyone that has the resources and... I feel like right frame of mind is actually it's actually there's no but nobody wants to live in Nigeria because somebody said something in when there's so much chaos going on in your life every day it's so hard for you to have to think properly to make yeah. informed decisions mm-hmm. so that's one of the reasons why people will move to the UK and they're not even they don't really know anything mm. about the culture about the lifestyle yeah. they just want to leave security, yeah. Um, GDP, yeah. minimum wage. No, they don't. Yeah. That, because there's so much chaos. I've been. I've they been just want to leave. Lagos traffic one year in a row. And no, it's enough, man. I'm not making informed decisions. I'm coming to the UK with my wife and my son. I don't care. I'm just coming. <laughs> no, not me. Not me. <laughs> like, people, like the older generation. Are yeah, coming, yeah, they're moving in. But yeah. Alice, like, so people are Why coming are yours, in. Is it because she is not here? Or is, are, you, are you asking Alice every time? Ask for us too. Are you really like you? No, she is best. Yeah. Oh, 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 happy birthday, she is best. Happy birthday, she is best. Shout out, my girl. You know? I'm sure you guys miss her. No, yes. I do, I do. You know, she's, she's always on... beside me, you know? But... She is on a birthday vacation. So, no, Alice is here now, you know? Ask questions on this car. Alice, what's that look, though? Alice. I don't mean, worry, carry on, moving on swiftly. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Moving on, moving on. <laughs> let's have it. Let's have it. Let's have it. Ask the table. Ask everyone. Let's have it. What do you think about the quality I'm of done. life of people like that? No, like, no, no. I wanted to ask us a question. Ask the table instead of Alex. <laughs> ask us. OJ, you. No, Tony, please go ahead. Oh um, no, 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 I'm done. Ask now. I'm done. I'm done. Tony, your go fans ahead. Will be, your fans will start fighting us on Twitter now. That you just kept cutting me short. Please. Ask your question. No, no, no. I just wanted to. I just wanted to wind uh, Alice up. No, they wind me. Oh. No, they wind me. <laughs> to hide your jar. You know that. You know that video we're doing in SARS. This is not be time to take fish up. Come on here. <laughs> this is not be time for fish up. Come on here. Yeah. Man. <laughs> but yeah, um, like, what do you, do you think? Like, people are coming here, and then it's actually like giving them a better quality. What do you think the quality of life? the difference between the quality of life and living in Nigeria and living here? Like, what, what is the difference and why do you think people actually come in here to secure themselves a better quality of life? Yeah, I think I know quite a few people that have actually moved from Nigeria and I know a few people that are actually still going to move regardless of what the election is, the result of that. And I just think the quality of life is just a lot better out mm. here it's more organized things are in place that works like let's even just talk about the listless thing like traffic light traffic light here works That's back in work. nigeria they are out out of the road and it's dysfunctional yeah. because the policeman will go and stand there be collecting money do you yeah. know what i mean and that should not be the case um like you know that if you need healthcare, 
you can get it. Yeah. You can, you're able to call the, the ambulance. They'll come to your door. And it yeah. works. It in Nigeria, work. you'll be stuck in traffic. Like, the person yeah. will be dead by the time they even get there. Like, mm-hmm. it can't keep going on. Like, a yeah. lot of people, especially in our generation, they're growing up. They're starting families. And they don't want their family to grow up in a country like Nigeria. Like, it, Nigeria just does not work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You might have money. But you'll be stuck in traffic just like everyone, everyone else. else. Yeah. Like, yeah. like you, you won't even have the access to the best healthcare because people, the professionals are leaving Nigeria. Yeah. Let's talk about that for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The professionals are leaving. I saw something in the news. They're like, and one of the government, they were like, please come back to Nigeria. We're missing out all the doctors, the nurses. Why are oh, you not doctors, appreciating them? Are not appreciating them. Appreciate them. Why would a doctor go to a school for seven years and you're paying them peanuts? So, like, yeah. <laughs> that's not normal. Like, yeah. you need to value them. And I feel like even police officers back in Nigeria, if you value them, <laughs> they would not be spending their traffic lights like, collecting bribes. <laughs> and paid for their wealth because a policeman is risking his life like yeah. being doing that job mm-hmm. you should value the fact that this person can die on the job do you yeah. know what yeah. i mean but they're paying them peanuts and their family members are living in like barracks disgusting barracks like yeah. do you know what i mean how long can that keep well, going on i'm for? just gonna say something about um, barracks and stuff something came up something has been on the internet yesterday saying nigeria bad governments is our problem but we also have bad citizens yeah yes. in terms of the barracks when they built like these barracks they were they built nice like new buildings so it comes down to the people that live maintenance there, the yes. maintenance, maintenance yeah. so yeah. people are like <laughs> so people are animals <laughs> I, I always say yeah. this maintenance is not nigerian's strong point exactly. no, no, like no. they do things nice but to maintain it you have to keep not I'm trying things to make it look good like yeah. Yeah. And they don't have that common sense to do that. Have you seen the belt in Nigeria? In the luggage belt at the airport? It doesn't work. Does it work. even work? No. So you have to drag let, let, let's, yeah. Does it even work? Let's put a pin in it. Yes, because if we start uh, discussing no. things that don't work so, in Nigeria, from no. now to next, we yeah. will finish. But, but like, it's Bro, not fair we'll on finish. people where they have to leave their families, their friends, I know. for pursuit of great um, Like, I passion. really miss my yeah. family. Like, it's not. Just basic. Better. Basic. Just the basic. basic. The bare minimum. Basic. Bare minimum. Like, bare minimum is I should have my life on 24 7 because i'm paying my bills yeah. do you know what i mean that is the bare minimum i should be able to turn on the tap and water comes out because i am paying my water bill that yeah. is the bare minimum yeah. but that is not available in nigeria yeah. like oh, so how long can you do that for yeah like, everyone is tired at this point you've grown up in it your parents have grown up in it you don't want to bring a lot of bring my child no, up in that no, and that's no. why i feel like a lot of people are migrating and doing stuff like going to school i don't after blame they them. suffered and already educated themselves from yeah time past, tell me and then doing it all over again the mental aspect of it we're not talking about that people no. are going crazy alice, in this country. alice sorry to quote you no, but like fine. do you know someone was speaking to me the other day and she said a tuition for a 12-month course in uni is about 23 grand the fuck? And I'm like, where are you gonna find that and i'm like and th- you're giving these people 20 hours to walk and the course might be fashion in design architecture you, you get what like i mean and out just she, something to get out of Nigeria. and then you know like literally this person like she can't afford that immediately i know and then you're telling her you're blocking a portal i know you're gonna report her to the home office it's mentally draining it's mentally honestly. draining because what do you want her it. to do i know how many mental breakdowns I have in this country Bro. and that's what and that's what I feel like a lot of people are rallying and rooting for Peter Obi because I know he's just talking about the changes but at least he's talking about it honestly and visibly yeah. like he wants he's passionate about it yeah he's just passionate like we about are passionate it. about it I don't even see that passion from Bath he's saying it's his turn no Bath doesn't I'm have, so doesn't sorry, have but passion at somebody all. should not even come and say it's my turn to rule a country what are you going to do for that country is it your bed right it's not your bed right is it your bed right like, right? like, like, like cool. <laughs> and I think and that's why I particularly want Peter Obi to win because yeah. I love Nigeria I go back to Nigeria as often as I can yeah. but I know if you live there I know, I know. If you, like, I always I like to bless you I always yeah, like to bless you there's some people that are yeah, especially black British Nigerians that have grown up here there was the other day one girl tried to argue with me I said like, don't even speak to me this is my truth I've lived my truth yeah. here. because you go there on holiday for two months or a month or three months you're not experiencing Nigeria and you're not even 
you go on holiday and you're this they're, they're putting you in like a close knit kind of you're thing. on yeah. the island yeah. you're, you're living the, the posh life for yeah. a short nah. while you're, to protect, but you're, OJ. Protected. Now you're telling me oh Nigeria is not that bad mama's like shut your you mouth shut up you mean it's not that bad what are you talking about it's, it, it's terrible mm-hmm. for somebody to to be to have had gone through uni collected degree have wife have kid have a job that your li- that's that's like that's your life already. Yeah. You already have properties. Yeah. And then one day you carry again. you that's carried your bag off. and you're now coming to to selling live in London. Off your thing. Wait, let this. You know the most painful part when they mm. come to London. Yeah, they can't afford to because the cost of living is all. Yeah. yeah. As much people as don't even. Thing, people yeah. Don't understand how high the cost of living yeah. is in London. You've come to London now. You can't rent an like a proper house. Oh, house. Yeah. You're yeah. Having to nurse with your child, mm. having to live, sharing, sharing a room, sharing bathroom, sharing with people yeah. that you don't even know. Fish where you're you going. Fish Literally, fish like fish upgrade fish everyone. Upgrade fish upgrade fish fish. Fish. You don't even know. You don't even know where the people that you're living with, where they are going, where they've gone to, where they've yeah. come back from. Like you're living. To and then you expose your kids to so many to things. so many yeah. things. Yeah. But so the sad. thing is, like you guys have experienced Nigeria. And you've I'll had to move it. here for a greater, better life, really. Yeah. Um, and it's just not fair. And I feel like a lot of people are leaving Nigeria right now. And I think the aim of this podcast is we want to be the mouthpiece, you yeah. know, be the guidance, you yeah. know. What do you guys think? Like, the point of living this podcast, London. Yeah. I feel like 40% of us, like, on this podcast, we've actually come from Nigeria to mm-hmm. the UK. Well, we've all, all come us, from all Nigeria now. Nigeria. No, like, I just came at a different stage. Yeah, yeah. 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 we all like, come at a different as stage. Adult. As yeah. adults. I just felt like my mom was done earlier than a lot of people's parents were done. So. Yeah. My, my mom was actually done <laughs> yeah, but it was just me. Like, okay, that's the story for another day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so then, I feel like this podcast is just for us like, to bridge the gap, to like, let people in London know what pe- what Lagos is about. Let people in Lagos also know what London is about. Mm. You know, yeah. Encourage them to come if they want to come as well. And, mm-hmm. you know, just let them see what it is. Not just reading it on the internet and everything mm. like that. Yes. But the vague information that is always on the internet. Yeah. Very like, vague. Yeah. Like giving Real them life. what To say is, like, exactly um, what it is. all the glitters ain't gold. Absolutely. Yeah, but Literally. sometimes as well, it's all also the gold. All glitters gold, but there's a silver lining. There's actually there's a, a silver, silver lining. lining. Yeah. Yeah. Means, yes. if, if you have the means, yes. you can leave. But even if you're coming to London, please be like, be aware of where you're coming be to. Be educated. Be educated. Yeah. Like, don't be obli- oblivious to so many don't things. Your agents, yeah, agents like know. they've not lived in London. The before. other day, the <laughs> other day, yeah, university in honestly. in this area in London, like, yeah. and the broad daylight, like mm-hmm. literally around half three in the afternoon, and I could see on the CCTV camera from my office, like this guy was just randomly texting his phone in on Harley, and this other guy walked up to him, brought on a knife. <gasps> yeah, like oh, wow. it was half three in the afternoon. Really? I took the phone from him. Like, wow. I can't go out there. I'm not a police officer. I don't want to get yeah. stabbed. Yeah. But like, I could see this happening. Like, mm-hmm. and no one will tell you this is happening in London. Mm. The only thing people want to tell you is, oh, they're, they're all the beautiful places in London. Look at the Notting Hill Carnival that, that happened last year. It was all beautiful until the until last minute and then yeah. they stabbed someone to death. Mm-hmm. Like tourists. But that come. always happens at Norton Hill. I always go to Norton Hill. There's always some element of what danger. is Norton Hill, guys? It's a no, it's Norton Hill yeah. carnival. It's a big carnival that happens every summer um, yeah. in Norton Hill in yeah. London. And it's just to bring the culture together. Culture together. Caribbean, Caribbean, Nigerians, Nigerians everyone. It's like, beautiful. You see the British. Really there's beautiful. There's food, there's music, there's yeah. um uh, just everything you see the outfits the kind of yeah outfits, the it's dances. really amazing if you're there during the day but yeah. once it gets start getting late like about last year 200 police officers were assaulted no one's wow. gonna yet this yeah 200 yeah. police officers were assaulted like the next morning i was going to work i couldn't go in because someone was stabbed. i don't even go to those kind of things like why yeah. is it not your scene i like my life i don't, I don't no, like but it's but fun now. Run. It's fun. What do you mean by you like your life? I don't anywhere that you see, I'm very claustrophobic because oh, okay. yeah, okay, so okay, okay. I mean okay. anywhere that's what if you're with like your friends, like your guys? <laughs> would you see would you be comfortable with this? Soft babe. Soft babe. <laughs> <laughs> so well literally, yeah, guys, I feel like 
even like I've, I had a lot of friends last year that went to do the e December in Nigeria, Lagos okay. last year, and it was wild. Like the experience no, was, is, but then like we have sure, some December. insecurities going on in Lagos as well. Mm, yeah. Like these are the things we need to educate ourselves on whenever yeah. we're going to these places, mm. and even going on holidays. Like we just have to be super cautious it's not just booking the the hotel booking the flight ah. know about Holy where Jesus. you're going to most especially <laughs> yeah. like yeah and that's why this podcast yeah that's why we are here yeah. explain everything we're explain literally everything. we even bring you the I'm, trending topic yes what you need to know what you don't need to know yeah what is like schooling in the uk mm -hmm. what is like schooling in nigeria as well mm -hmm. yeah. and then i wanted to actually say something you know in when i was in nigeria i always see like the uk is always about you know stabbing you know knife fight and everything yeah. i always see that america is always about shooting gone when yeah. i came to the uk honestly i've never seen anyone get stabbed yeah and when i when i when i came to the uk as well News I'm seeing about Nigeria is that there's kidnapping. And when I go to Nigeria, it's safe for me. So what I just want to say is that just go there first. Like, don't just have that mentality in your head. Oh, no, UK is about knife. I don't want to go there. No, no, come here. We will tell you what the is areas, happening. The, exactly. Yeah, there are the areas that are exactly. also safe yeah, no, as well. You know, there are places no that are very, very, very exactly. serene exactly. and nice. Yeah, and Nigeria no as well. Us. If you're at the right place, honestly, yeah, exactly. nothing is going to be wrong with you. You won't yeah, get kidnapped. Yeah. So go to, go to Nigeria for your day December. Come back to the UK to study Amazing. as well. Okay, guys, before we move on, quickly, who do you want to win the election? Uh, I'm obedient, quickly, right? Quickly. I'm obedient. You're obedient. <laughs> I am obedient. I want Peter Obi to bring the change. <laughs> I hope he can bring the change because, you know, we've had audio promises in the mm -hmm. past. So, yeah. What about you? Um, The person that's going to move Nigeria. Who do you win. want to win is the question. To be honest, I don't, I don't agree with any of the three candidates, but unfortunately, those are, that's what... That's what we... That's what pick the best of the bunch. Which one? Ogbeni, sharp, sharp. Uh, Toby, I, 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 Why are you I'll just I'm, 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 I'm my best friend. My best friend wants Obi to win and he lives in Nigeria. Yes, yeah, so I'm obedient. Okay. okay. What about you? Well, I'm obedient as well. Oh, 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 no, 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 I have the poll that we did. I'm going to post it. I have the poll we did. I remember I saw like, what? Wait, guys, Tony, Tony, guys, 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 no, cool it, cool it, cool it, wait, wait. No, Tony, 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 just a quick one. What, what? my baby. Yeah, I know. You know, what changed your mind? Like, did we change your mind? Let me tell you something here. I know what is good for Nigeria, but I know what Nigeria needs as well. Okay. Right. But I know Nigeria needs bath, but I know that I cannot deliver. So I'm just going to go with Obi. Mm. Okay. okay. And I was going to ask, if, is it right for people in like Nigerians that are living abroad? Mm. I don't, I'm not talking about people that were born here and they just all of a sudden they want to jump Mm -hmm. Nigerian, uh, it's cool. it's all of a sudden, yeah. it's like, calm down, you know. <laughs> but they're still Nigerian by yes, blood, though. Yes, they're Nigerian by by what yeah. they by blood. Oh, by, by yeah. Whatever, but no, like I, like the ones that actually, the ones that have experienced the suffering, the suffering <laughs> that their friends are experiencing the suffering that their friends so, are yeah. asking them to guy do me five k now, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the ones that are here in London that they don't have any. When they mm. get to Nigeria, they will be snapping and um, um, mopo carrying them about. And they want to have an opinion on the <laughs> shot fires. It's true. What's wrong with not flying around? Yeah, you are living no. a very protected life. I'm sure life. you are living a good yeah, life. Yeah, like, yeah, but like, safety. an average Nigerian I, doesn't need to. So should they be allowed? Should, should they be, they be, should be, should be like Nigerians that that have actually experienced Niger that have passport, PVC? Should we be allowed to vote? Even Absolutely. though we're not going to live here. Even Absolutely. though we're not going to live in Nigeria, we don't have any plan to live in Nigeria. But to be able think, to influence, we should be allowed to vote. Should we be allowed, Alice? I, th I think so. Um, Do you think or we should? Because I feel like because we're not directly being impacted with the country and what's going to happen with this presidential, maybe we really shouldn't have an influence. We shouldn't yeah. have a say so. Yeah. But because we still have family members and we still... Hopefully, if Nigeria gets great again, I only want to move back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I would like to have a say so. And I saw DSF post um, something in a story the other day. She was like, if Nigerians living abroad had a chance to vote, 100%. it would have been sure it's for gone. 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 It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Law. Law. Only movement. I mean? Only movement. Only movement. Only movement. Only movement. It won't be even two, two ways. No, 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 no. It's done. It's done. No. But I, I think 
think because I hopefully, if I can, want to move back to Nigeria at one point, mm-hmm. yeah, I would like to have a say so. Yeah, I, I think I should have a say so. Yeah. Yeah. It's why, my why birthright. Would you, why would you want to there move, we go? Why would you want to move back to Nigeria? If, if Nigeria works, Nigeria is fun. Yeah. Nigeria is fun, bro. Nigeria is okay, that's why. The sunshine alone, please. Oh my god, you know, the that's sunshine why. alone, alone, the tan. my skin clears up every time I step into Lagos. I, I don't just, know about that. My people just go. I'm not joking. Seriously. Lagos <laughs> Edge, very bad. I don't sure. know about that yeah, one. I, but the sunshine is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, and the food as well. The food, yeah. I, as in, I want pounded jam every I'm time. Sorry, not guys. Pondo. Last, last, last not the first Pondo. episode. I said I didn't miss, I don't have any attachment to Lagos and I don't miss anything about Nigeria. Take but your no, words I back. The mama puts. <laughs> Oh my god, the quick access to any type of food bro. and it's cheap. Mm-hmm. Bro, I love I just I missed bro. that Mar Lagos bread and they were going. Ah, yes. oh, <laughs> no, god, that's, I missed that like Mar Lagos. So much, I'm sorry, guys. So I do missed you that see what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I think I should have a say so. I yeah. should be able to. Yeah, I think we should actually say. have a say. What do you think? But you, you know what, guys? Like, I think we should have a say mm-hmm. and um, I don't know. Like, I stand to be corrected. I really don't know about this. I'm not so sure about this information. But like, then don't when... say it. Then if you're not sure, no, sure. no. But I have a bit of clue. Like, yeah. I think when the US were having the elections, like the citizens in the diaspora could vote online. I think at some point. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I think they could. I'm not so sure, but I think mm. they could. But on like like the UK now, you can vote online. Mm. Like, but as long I know, as you're a citizen, as long like as so you're registered to vote, as long as I'm a citizen of Nigeria, I feel like I should be able I should to be say, able to, I want like, this to be irrespective my of where I am. I feel like mm-hmm. I know I might not be going through whatever is happening there, yeah. but like I have people that are there, yeah. and like I speak to these people like daily, and I know what they're going through as Absolutely. well. So why not with my little like knowledge? Why not? express my right because to at the end of the day whatever affects them affects you because Me? you're wow. having to take care of them because they're not able to get paid their salary for six months do you know what i mean so yeah. with that point the, the reason why they are allowed to vote outside because most of them actually they might maybe they're living outside the country for a short period of time but at the end of the day they are coming back, back. but the thing is like down. nigerians don't want to move out of nigeria we are forced to move out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. My, so, me personally, I don't think, if for me, people like us that have Sanli, that are affected by the Loli mom, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should be allowed to influence and have you don't think an so. effect on the future of people. It's unfair. For me, like for people like me that have said, okay, no, no, ma- no matter that. what happens, I cannot live in Nigeria again mm. because I don't know when next is going to work. It's yeah. not fair on the people that are actually living there. Like which, like my votes would actually have an effect on them. On them. Okay. It's not fair on them. So, so Tony, that's a good point. What, what about, about you? you? Um, yeah, I mean... Um, As you've left Nigeria does... now and you're here, do you think you should be able to vote? Yeah, because it's not my choice that I left Nigeria. Uh-huh. I left oh, Nigeria. It's not, your choice, it's not my choice. Yes, I, I want to be in Nigeria. I want to be in Nigeria if yeah. I could. Yeah. Do, you, do you like it yet? Or? Oh, no, I don't I'm like can't. it here. I'm too dear, bro. I'm too. No. Just, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely I'm leaving too. after my uni. I don't like it here. Um, However, Alice. Uh, May Nigeria be great again. Amen. 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 And moving on now. She said something about Love Island. Yes. yes. They are, they've been, they... Have you guys started watching it? From the last episode, I... we said you should watch it. Have Please, you watched you guys it? watch Love Island? Uh, to be honest, I just want to like make a little research that we also have Love Island in Nigeria that is sponsored by Airtel. We don't oh, have Love Island. Yes, we have Love Island in Nigeria. Is it sure. actually called Love Island? Yes, it is. They, na- Love Island when was the last, uh, them. When was the last season it? I don't know, but I just... I just Googled it and I found out like it's been sponsored. I watched Love Island. Yeah. I watched Love Island. You watch Love Island UK now. That me and Dia. That me and Dia. That me and Dia. But this, this season is hot, hot. This is the winter season, which by the way, I think they need to scrap it. It's not it's not working, I don't think. Do you think it's not working? I don't think it's My, working. I think it's not working. I don't think, I think it's, it's working. boring enough. It is. <laughs> they're forcing content. They're forcing them to do things that they naturally would not do. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about Casa more. Yes. Wait, sorry, I feel guys, like... What is Casa Amor? Okay, so okay. Love sorry. Island is basically, if you don't know, it, it usually starts with five girls, five guys. They all come in. When they come in, this year, the was it the guys that choose or the girls that the girls, choose? The girls chose. That chose. Yeah. Okay, so 
when they first come in, the girls will come in first and then guys are coming in one by one and the girls are choosing who they want to couple, couple up, up with. with yeah. And once they coupled up, they start to live together in a villa where they can't leave, they can't have their phones, they don't know what the time is, they don't know anything about the outside world. It's just, you're living in this villa, this is your life, make do with it and have certain conversations about your relationship, how it's going, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, Alice. When, in the, in the villa, do they have access to sunlight to be at least be able to... It's a beautiful yeah, it's a, it's villa. A, it's a massive, it's a massive gorgeous villa. villa. When the sun sets, they're able to tell. No, they're always time. outside. Okay, I'm, I'm making sure, you know... Like Big Brother. Like Big Brother, where they are, they're always inside. Are there like wall clocks and stuff? There's like, no clock. You don't know what the time is. You don't know what the time is. You're just the sunset, leaving, yeah. Just yeah. You, sure I mean, they have phones, but I'm sure there's no the internet. The phones are nothing. given to them by Love Island. Yeah. Well. So um, they streamline the content on the phone. Like, what it's literally just to text yeah, them. Yeah, just to text them. To give them instructions, instructions. of what to yeah. do, basically. So it's just like a yeah. dumb um, phone. But, and then once they start to live together, they start to form their relationship, grow the relationship, just to feel that, find out if they actually love, love each, each other, other and it will work on the outside world. But they also twist, put twist in it where they're sending other people in to test the relationship. So, I mean, in one week, they could send a single girl and a couple Sorry, of partner... There are some people that don't, you are speaking to. Because love is speaking, sweet. It's very you can see it's very passionate. passionate. I'm passionate. I'm passionate. But you're speaking too fast. I'm not because grasping, let me, please. Let me bring it I'm back. Okay, rush. so... So, but we I cannot tell you this. I can tell you from you know, the start to beginning man, now. Man, man, them, I'm sure they... I'm but okay, I'll Nigeria, summarize it. I'll summarize it. So, there's 10 people, five couples, yeah, boy and girl couples. Um, They're living in the villa together making it work, having conversations. And then every week... Um, There'll always be a bombshell. There's a bombshell. They call it a bombshell. And a bombshell, sometimes it's a girl, sometimes it's the a guy. boy. And they use it to test the strength of the relationship. Ooh, la, la. So like, if you're already coupled up and one Ooh, person's la, la. like, I want to get to know this person, Ooh. that starts to cause friction in the relationship. Yeah. Triangle. Triangle is what they call it. That's what and it <laughs> at the end of the day, the triangle always has to become... A, is it a square or a straight line? A straight line. <laughs> it has to be a straight line because <laughs> somebody needs to go. So they yeah. are every, I don't know how often they do it, but they do a recoupling where you can say, okay, let's say a bombshell has come in and you prefer that bombshell to, to the girl partner, you really like. To the person you've been partnered with. There must be you many could, city girls on you that show. Yeah. Can, um, <laughs> you can I'm sure they're bringing some say, bodies on it. Yo, you can recouple and say, I don't want this girl anymore. I want to be coupled up and be in bed with her every time. Oh, mm-hmm. that's nice. And you can't, once you're coupled up with someone, you have to share a bed with them. Yeah, you can't. Mm-hmm. Even if you're not feeling them So anymore. even if I like Alice and you ah. tell me you want to couple up with me. No. But I want to couple up with Alice. We have to sleep on the same bed. Okay. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, Sleep on the bed. No, no, no you it can't. doesn't work that way. You can't. No, they never so, have a three. They've never had like a no, three can't way relationship three kind of thing. Where well, all of them are bed. cool with it. No, okay. and then you cast them more. No, it must, it must always be two people. Right? Yeah, it always have to be two. You always have to be the couple. The first week when they come in, you say it's five guys, five girls. Yeah, if they're like, there's no chemistry yet. Yeah, you have to come in. You still have to be in that bed with them. You have to be in that bed. Wait for a bombshell to come in and be like, this might be my type, or I like this. So you just have to. Wow. Yeah. So they they live together, and then I think halfway through the show, because it's for eight weeks. Yeah. Um. They. They do Send them into something called Casa Amor. Casa Amor is a completely different villa. And usually they send the guys. But this year they sent the guys, the girls, sorry. So they literally told them to run away. The guys didn't even know that they were leaving. They just told them, pack your bags and go to Casa Amor. And in this Casa Amor, it's all the girls. I think there were six of them at the time. Um, and they bring in new set of boys for mm. all six of them. Wow. Yeah. This is to tempt them. You know, the, the strength the, of the relationship. The of the because relationship. They're, already, they're already in, in Love Island for almost like five weeks before they take them to Casa Amor. Yeah. So, they so the relationship, relationship to be strong, strong enough. Already. Um, and then in the main villa, they're sending girls as well. So what they do is they date. I think they give them like three days to just date, get to know each other if you want. And then after the Casa Amor, you get a choice to decide whether you want to stick with your partner in the main villa or bring, bring one of your the Casa Amor boy, boy back. back to the okay. main villa. 
Wait, wait. So if you decide, yo, they may you want to stick with a boy that he brought in, your your man has done decide, Kata more. And he oh, actually someone. Oh my God, Lolly, no, gone. No, 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 yeah, no, no, they don't send them no, straight away. No, they will send him. Okay, no, still come back. Oh, okay, okay, but they'll be single, single. and rotation. then you see your you baby. You see your, your baby with another guy. Yeah. It happened to it Tanya and Shaq. Oh my God, a new guy. So there's this black couple, Tanya and Shaq. They actually people quite liked them because I don't like them. I felt like their love was. ethnicity? Sorry. Um, I I'm not too sure. I'm know. not too sure. No, they, but the African, yeah, black, yeah, black, black, black. Tanya and Tanya and, and Shaq and Shaq. Shaq. Um, I thought their love Shaq was Shaq. was genuine <laughs> at some point. It looked genuine to the audience. Tony. Um, and then they brought in a black. Nigerian, Nigerian boy, boy. Martin. Martin, Martin mm. came Martin in. Adio. Ba, bo, Adio. <laughs> <laughs> Martin came in. He was like, uh, hey, Tanya, you're mine. You're mine. Oh my God. And then okay, yeah. she took him back. And then everything has scattered. Wait, so Mark, Tanya picked Martin. Yeah, Martin and brought him into the villa. And brought Whoa. him to the main villa. And Shaq was alone. Shaq made sure he didn't do anything with any girl. He was so loyal mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Shaq was almost crying. Mm, Shaq, Shaq is a sweet boy. Shaq, Shaq, Shaq has been shocked. He cried, he he cried time. against the villain. He was that's, crying. That's, Shaq has been Shaq. Girl. Tanya must be a city girl. All right, guys. Yeah. 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 Girl. But guys, we'll thank you we'll so much. We'll in the conversation yeah. today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please, if you like the video, or if you like our videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you can also... Follow us on other social media platforms, yeah. other streaming platforms. Yep. And also, you can share with people Definitely. that you think might like our content. And yeah. we also I want you guys to join in on the... We also want you guys to join in on the conversation. Comment join on in. our social media platforms, our Instagram. We want to see you in the comment section. We Where do. Twitter, on our can... TikTok, on our Instagram, our TikTok, Snapchat. YouTube, we Facebook, want to we're everywhere. Spotify. <laughs> yes, guys. Lagos meets London. Lagos meets London. Lagos meets London. Wahala. Wahala.